as I'm sure is obvious by the title and what's on screen right now, we are trying out a new hunting game today called The Mountain Hunting, and the developer of this game reached out to me via email and asked me if I wanted to try it out. And I looked into it and it actually looks kind of intriguing, so I thought we'd give it a look today and just kind of see what it's all about. So, based on what I'm seeing here, we are going to have to do the tutorial first. And our wallet says zero, so I'm guessing we just click start and kind of get in here. So I'm curious, it's sort of just dropping us in. I'm not too sure, it looks like it's kind of doing the normal tutorial thing where it tells you all of the different... Um, you know, controls and stuff. Estimated locations of animals are shown with a mark on the map for only 60 seconds. Then you can zoom in and stuff, so that's kind of cool. Binoculars with B. Okay, I will say, the, like, spotting info there is a little bit Call of Duty-esque. The, you know, weight, gender, the range is different, but uh, even the layout of it is kind of familiar. Hold breath. And then shoot with the left mouse button, okay. You know? I'm not a huge fan necessarily of, like, sounds. When animals make sounds when you shoot them, but the death animation was pretty good, actually. Now, I will say, like, obviously graphically this is not quite on the level of Call of the Wild or maybe even classic. But some of the immediate uh, gameplay things are kind of nice. We got 41, I guess, cash for that cool that it shows the animal on screen. I guess it's kind of like a normal model there. Alright, and that's the tutorial. So I'm really looking forward to seeing like what else this game has to offer as far as species and all that, but first glance it's actually kind of cool. Now we have two different options. We can do mission or free hunting, and we'll probably do one of both. I guess we'll go into missions first, and I guess there are different options, but we have to do... It looks like the boar hunting one first. It looks like you have to kind of progress, so we'll do that. We definitely can't afford any upgrades. And I guess it's going to tell us what to do once we load in here. Ten boars. All right, that might take a little while. I'm curious then if the sort of spawn rate is going to be maybe higher. I think that's just indicating that there is a call, and it's not necessarily like spatial sound, like I'm hearing that on the right, but according to that kind of icon over there, it would be directly ahead of us. We got kind of close there. I'm pretty sure we need the binoculars to know that's a hundred weight and a 99. I'm sort of surprised we got this close, but I'm not sure like the spook mechanics and everything just yet. Let's try a vital hit. I saw blood. Um, are we gonna... Okay. Uh, good to know that's a thing. Can we survive this? <laughs> Alright. Um... Kind of cool that the boars are actually aggressive. Good to know we're going to have to be a little more careful. That was actually kind of neat. Do we have... Oh, yeah. We certainly do have a health bar, and it's not looking too good. That was a 90 weight one. How many did we kill then? Three? Certainly we're going to stay a little further away from the others, because I don't know that we can heal. That was a 94 weight female. And then this should have been that 100 weight male. Or that's a 99. Oh. I guess we got four of them. Cool. Alright, so we're kind of almost halfway through already, and the one thing that I wanted to say about a game like this, and for this video in general early on, is that I know this is not going to be up to the level of, like, Call of the Wild or Classic, but the thing is, it's an individual developer, obviously with the, you know, passion to make a game to this point, and maybe it's not necessarily this game that's one of the best hunting games out there, but it could be the next iteration or something like that if the game gets support and if it's good enough to actually get that support. So I wanted to at least give it a chance. Now, hopefully at 60 meters, either they're far enough that they don't charge or they're far enough that we can just... Ooh. Why did that happen? I mean, I guess because it was a good shot. Maybe heart shot specifically does that. The whole not spatial sound thing does kind of bother me because it sounds like... For one, it's really close, but then it sounds like it's a certain direction when I'm pretty sure, like, it's that 176 uh, meter distance that we're actually having the sound come from. But anyway, that was kind of interesting to see the bullet cam. It just says chest area vital, so I'm not sure exactly what made it determined to do that. But that is the halfway point. And the other thing I wanted to mention about this game 
It is $15 on Steam, so if you guys want to check that out, um, I just wanted to make that clear. And anyway, we have five more boars to hunt down. Assuming I've counted correctly, this should be boar number 10. I'd like him to stop, because sometimes the vital hits are a little bit tough to get, it seems, but... Well, actually, that is a pretty good way to do it. It's interesting, actually. I just kind of noticed. I think the animal will freeze in place when you shoot, so there's no, like, leading them necessarily when they run. I could be wrong, but I just noticed he wasn't moving at all on that bullet cam. But a couple of observations. Number one, the map actually looks pretty big, and of course it is rather open. But also, the movement is super smooth. Like, I really like just how easily and fluidly everything just moves around. But let's see if this is, in fact, the tenth. Interesting little uh, music thing there. But we'll go back to the menu. And I want to do a free hunt. Actually, this is what I was going to look for. Some kind of deer. And I'm guessing that's probably a whitetail. But if we go into free hunting, are there multiple maps? Oh, there are. I wonder how I know where the deer would be. I don't think they'd say it. I mean, this looks like a map that would have deer, so why not? We'll get one here. We certainly do have deer out here. I'm not so sure what species of deer that's meant to be. It almost looks like a elk, really. The sounds are a little bit odd, but that's actually another one calling there. We got a slight gun upgrade, so let's see. Frontal vital hits are a thing. There's actually another one behind him, too. Another buck, it looks like, as well. I'm curious as far as the antlers go. I forgot there's no um, <laughs> leading necessary. But um, do they change? Because that they might actually be different. Let's take a quick look here. Because once we claim them, we're not going to be able to see. And I'm really not sure, as far as like the claim screen goes, if there's any differences. Hmm. I think they're the same, but... I'm actually not 100% certain. What I'll probably do is take a couple of screenshots so that I can compare to be sure. But yeah, it's almost like a Sika deer or something like that. I mean, they don't really clarify like where we are, but at least they have decent sized antlers that I'm pleased with. I was wondering, actually, that's red as well, so probably indicating it's a predator, but uh, I was wondering to maybe go after a wolf. We might go and do that actually as the last thing. They don't have a score listed, just the weight, but that might be something to look for sometime in the future. And I really don't know, I don't have information on like if this game is meant to be continually updated or if it's kind of just out as is and then maybe there's going to be a future iteration, you know, the Mountain Hunting 2 or something like that. But I do feel like there's a good solid foundation here. It's just that it's definitely kind of limited and lacking in certain things. Oh boy. Uh, okay. That is a pack of wolves. The white, which is interesting. The one we saw on the menu is more of like a brown color. And I guess getting that close spooked him. That's cool. There are different colors. Pretty proud of that shot, by the way. Not sure if that was like into the heart or what. Now, when I was hunting the boar to complete that mission, because 10 felt like a lot, I did get to see sort of how the tracking works. The deer running animation's a little bit odd. I've actually felt like most of the running animations and stuff are okay for a game like this, but not a fan of the way the deer jump around. Anyway, one thing I'm curious about, will it show the different colors? That's a 107 weight male wolf. But yeah, the blood trailing is not that bad. That's what I was kind of getting at with the thing I was saying about the boar. They will run for a while, but there's frequent enough blood. You can pretty much just kind of go along and find the clues one by one until you find the animal down. I mean, a little bit kind of creepy looking from that angle. We'll maybe just uh, go back here. But that was a female at 101. It is cool that they have like the different variations there. Again, if there is plans for like, you know, maybe scores added to antlers or scores added in general, maybe we could see fur types and all that sort of thing. A little more information on where the bolt hits the animals. There's so much that could potentially be added to make the playing experience a whole lot better because I think what maybe this game is going to have the most difficult time with is the fact that there's only so much you can do. It's going to get repetitive somewhat quickly because, I mean, you can shoot the animals. From what I'm getting, there's maybe like six-ish species. I know I saw there's bear, deer, wolves, boar and fox? I think that might be all of them. I actually would like to go after a bear. 
Not sure where we'd find such a thing, but maybe we'll manage to do that before we're done here. In the meantime, managed to get a doe there. I'm kind of getting the impression that every map probably has every species, but just real quick, I'd say this is a pretty good indication that all of the uh, bucks have the same antlers. Since we're here, we might as well hit that one, I guess. That wasn't vital. That'll do a little better. But yeah, I guess at this point we might as well go around and try to get a bear and a fox. Just so we have one of everything so we can really see what this game has to offer in full. But as I said, I sort of am getting the impression everything is on every map. A couple of wolves walking out there, but no bears in sight. I simply just don't know if every animal is on every map, but I remember there was a night map and that there probably would be bears on that, and as you can see, a 212 weight again, we don't really have units, so I'm not sure what that is referring to, but good sized bear just chilling there, actually just sit up on his hind legs for a second. Bit of a interesting model, not a huge fan of that, but... Oh, interesting. The lighting sort of change for that? I mean, I kind of liked it, it made it a little more visible, but it seems a little bit odd that the lighting would change. That looks better than the wolf did, uh, dead anyway. But, uh, nice little male... They just call him bear, it's not like grizzly bear or anything like that. But I do want to get a red fox before we are done here, and this would seem to be the map to do that. Admittedly, the fox seems kind of huge. It did say for a second there when we spotted it that it is just called fox, so it's not like red fox or anything like that. 52, wait, so again, the units don't seem to have a whole lot of kind of like meaning. I'm not sure exactly what they're going with, but we'll try to get into 70. That is our rifle's effective range. I don't know actually when we upgraded it if it changed. Our binoculars should say, or I guess it's actually when we're aiming down sight. It turned green for a second, but I think we better stick with 70 just to be safe. And of course, as long as we're crouching in, it's not too big a deal to get close to animals, which is, I guess, a good thing and a bad thing. Since it stopped there for us, I figured we could take that shot. Like, when it comes to hunting games, I think a certain amount of time spent, like, having to spot and stock and all that stuff is a good thing. When you think about Call of the Wild, it's not a lot of super slow movement a lot of times to get in position, at least for a shot with a gun, so... I don't mind too much that it's kind of easy to get in range and take those shots. I do think maybe a bit more brush or a few less animals to make it a bit harder to take animals down would be a good thing, because it's pretty easy to just go from one animal to the next, but overall, the numbers and stuff definitely aren't that bad. I do like the fox model there, especially like in the kind of harvest screen, but that is, I'm pretty sure now, one of everything in the game. and. We'll go back to the menu quickly, and I just wanted to kind of show, there are a number of remaining quests, and they don't say exactly what you need to do, but I'm pretty sure they're showing the animals that you're going to have to go after, like protect the beehives, obviously that's going to be a thing related to the bears, but I wanted to kind of give my final thoughts on the game, and as far as recommendations, $15 on Steam might be a little more than I would probably recommend getting it for, if it were to go on sale at any point, I do think it probably is worth just a little bit uh, less than that. There's enough to run around and maybe enjoy for a couple of hours, but as I said, without variation in like scores and stuff like that, it is kind of limited in that aspect. Now, as I said, I probably am going to come back to the game and at least do all the missions, just like I said, to really get to understand everything the game is about, pretty much for if anybody asks in streams or in comments and those sorts of things. But unless there were to be updates in the future, I don't see myself playing much beyond that, other than maybe a couple of minutes here and there to kill time. But yeah, it's a cool game. I like the foundation. If there are going to be updates or if there is going to be like, say, a Mountain Hunting 2 or something like that, I could see there being serious potential. But at least as the game is right now, that's sort of where I see it standing. It's got potential, but it's just very limited in some pretty important aspects. So we'll kind of have to see what happens with it going forward. But I wanted to give a shot. I did have fun. And yeah, I wanted to show you guys the game if you wanted to check it out for yourselves. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.